combined your waking rational abilities with the infinite possibilities of your dreams. Because if you can do that, you can do anything. You can do anything. Yo, Julian. Hold on, can I say it before? I've been, I've been peeling because of my nose. <laughs> can I put a lotion on? My name's Jeffrey Thomas Harris. I love you. Hey, yo, a blue bar like Nash Burns, Kentucky's pick a rhyme style for the fuck of it. What the percussion hit? Oh, son. Yo, 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 turn in the show gun. Assassin. My car's overheated from the car, bro. Out of the universe, bring you guys together. Who is that? Do you mean Jeffrey, uh, Charlotte's friends? And we met Hazel through this nonprofit uh, literary arts organization called You Speaks. I don't know it's going to be. And then, uh, we met Julio for Aviva Records, uh, which is actually a couple blocks away. You can't see that in internet land, but. Forty Love started 2007. It was uh, basically when the name Pandora was 40 years after the Summer of Love in San Francisco. 2007 is when they uh, released their first album, Advantage. And then uh, just for them shopping at Amoeba, I was kind of helping out with the hip hop and soul vinyl section. And uh, they would just kind of come in every Tuesday for new releases and just chop it up and we talk music. I, I think you guys booked me for the uh, Slim oh, Show. Oh yeah, the Slim's the Super Net. The, the Slim, the Slim yeah. Show. And we just kind of clicked and then we just started making music, you know? How do you guys perfect each other's verses or the chorus? Or how does it all come as the view? Like, how does that all happen? <laughs> It's not like your normal, like we're not like your normal like beats, lyrics, hip hop shit. It's like you know, we have a lot of like a lot of influences so on stage and try to like. You know. So are you guys also like San Francisco? I'm from San Bruno. San Bruno. <laughs> yeah. Trench now stand up. Trench now stand up. Shout out to my tongue is this San Francisco. Yeah. Born and raised. Frisco natives. If you look around, there's many Frisco natives in the house, which is rare out here. <laughs> Google's makes our beats, so I just get a lot of inspiration and in feel um, like off the beats. I'll just vibe and try to give whatever vibration we want from that exact song, and then we'll build it together in the studio. Yeah, we're always like refining each other's styles too. You know, things can be written a little differently, or the beat could change in certain ways, or you know, we all work together in the studio. Every, everyone's voice is definitely like. Okay, one, love, one, love. I say one, you say love. One, love, one, love. Do you guys just kind of grab inspiration from production, or is it with the lyrics already pre made? I'll write some pre made stuff and he'll like kind of formulate a beat around that. But most of the time, I love drawing inspiration from the actual song because I feel like you can't really, like, it's a it's one cohesive like whole. I feel like we don't like stick to a formula, which also like keeps it like fresh. You know what I mean? Because uh, hip hop can be extremely formulaic, you know. And we're really trying to like not be uh, closed in that box. You know? So the mood, how do you set the mood? Uh, candle light, <laughs> candle light, you know what I'm saying? Christmas lights, you know what I'm saying? Christmas lights. You know, just a light, little incense, some bubbles. Scented bath salts. <laughs> so I'm like super trying to pursue kind of multi-dimensional art. Like I'm working on like a theater webisode piece right now um, that's kind of like based on alchemy, but it's also really funny, kind of like Monty Python kind of thing. So I'm kind of, I like, just what he's saying, trying to like infuse kind of new forms of perception of art, like into music is just going to make it just out of that, yeah, just standard like hip hop box. <laughs> What's good? How you feeling, camera? We, we, we enjoy uh, herbal essence to uh, improve our musical essence, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, what's, what's the strain that gets you guys into? Jeff! Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> great. That's these cats right here, yeah. Uh, well, there's, there's this new strain. You've probably heard of it. Girl Scout cookies. It's really good. <laughs> Really good. And, uh, what else? Does that get you in the mood? Like, it gets me in the mood. I don't know anything from Green Door. I, I think like the best cannabis club in SF. Yeah. Anything that's over 20% THC. If you don't know what THC percentage is, you ain't nobody. Long story short, we're enthusiasts. We, yeah. I feel like uh, our creativity is always growing. You know, it was time just to update the people with a uh, a new project. We're still constantly working. I mean, we sacrifice every day for each other, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's yeah. for like unique, like minds, but we're also like mad different. I mean, we're also like 
got a lot of our own things going on, and so it's always it's always yeah. a sacrifice to like get in the studio to like plan time, make it work, and just be there. Yeah. You know, every time we get together, it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Because like we made time, we made that shit happen. But getting there is not always the easiest thing. You know? We got a lot of shit going on. And yeah. Boys, sacrificing like uh, perfectionism. Yeah, yeah. Because that's like always. Oh, yeah, that, uh, that, yeah. that's, that's like the point I was trying to make is that you know that's like always a huge problem with like, your artists. And we're all definitely perfectionists. And, and, uh, you know, always want to come fully correct this time around. We had just like, you know, just give it to them. I think as like artists too, um, allowing ourselves to just like get this music out and just let the people hear it now is like something that we struggled with in the past. Like we made a lot of like ill shit, but we've also critiqued it and then didn't put it out and sat on it. And I think we're kind of growing to the point where just like we want, we want, we want people to just hear our music now. You know, what I mean, we want to keep these projects moving. Has any you know of the I mean? fans came to you guys or each any of you guys? And said, you know what? You guys better keep doing this. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. that's the, I mean, it's it's a cute encouragement every day. Oh, that's the mantle. The sounds of Mickey Mantle. Oh, you fly this camp in the first season cancel. In my soul, I keep my ancestors on the mantle. Vampire your swag. Oh, he transcends. Yeah. like how we came together and stuff. We're all Buddhists. We practice like nature and Buddhism. So basically it's based on like world peace, right? Through your own human transformation. So like a lot of girls come up to me and like I just love rocking for like all my ladies. Of course men have all their struggles too and I love them too. But you know just like no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, struggles. Yeah it's that empowerment and trying to offer oh, a voice yeah. of like yes you are whole you can embody all these things and still like respect yourself and you know what I mean? Like, all Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's very awesome. What's one thing or a, a quote that gets you through the day? I don't know. There's this book I've been reading a lot. It's by Khalil Gibran. It's called The Prophet. It's it's actually really short. So like the whole book could be like a quote if you want to determine it as such. But yeah, check it out. It's really good. You can read in like 30 minutes. It's really good. Okay. The booth organization we're part of is really just about uh, overcoming obstacles, you know. And um, a quote like they always just kind of stick out like a simple one. It's just never give up, you know. So. At the end of the day, it's like, you know, how many obstacles you have coming your way or whatever, it's like, that's just fuel to the fire, you know what I mean? Like, it's supposed to, success is destiny, you know? So. And also, like, your environment is a reflection of yourself, so every moment is that chance to plant a new seed, to change your environment, and to change your mind state, and to, like, spread love and, you know, to the people, every being around you and stuff, yeah. So. Sad more in a building. Oh boy, you know, Sab the champ Sab Noir in the building. Hey, how's it going? It's Sab Noir. Some fun, you know what I mean? Boy, you love in the building, killing it. Good job, you guys. Always. So you. This is dope. This is just exciting. Yeah. You know, it's exciting times, you know what I mean? Like, we're all just like, we wake up really excited every day just to like, make some new shit, put it on to people, like, experience, you know. You know, create positive experience. energy, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Just like, build the people. Be Constantly. Yeah. Every art that's like, true expression is a chance for that paradigm shift, for that mind shift where we can truly start, you know, like perceiving yeah, the value in everyone and just spreading the love. Like, we're in the Bay, this is a perfect example of Bay love right now, and if everyone took this love and bring it to every single being that they interact with, like, in the day, that's how the movement starts, you know what I mean? Shout out to Genesis, 40 Love, One Love. Genesis Magazine, 40 Love. Genesis Mag, Hooligan, what up Thomas, I see you, good luck. What up, Genesis? I love Genesis. Since, <laughs> since the Genesis, I've been loving the Genesis. While listening to Genesis. Uh, yeah. Uh, Yo, Genesis! thank you guys, though. Thank you. Love y'all. Thank you.